so hardy. Uh, so you're wondering. doing so I'll explain uh, a tissue overlay and how I how I make it um, <clears throat> or use it for painting ships <clears throat> It's yours. I'm Peter Warburton. Uh, <clears throat> so, as I move along here and explain this, uh, you will. There's a painting underneath here that's actually that I've started. Uh, I'm making this tissue overlay a little bit late in the game basically I started the painting of the schooner yacht America from this photograph which I took out of the frame and took down to Staples <clears throat> and blew it up into the size that I wanted to paint it in uh, this is the 1963 um, replica of the schooner. I think it's 63. <clears throat> Schaefer Brewing Company. Uh, and I sailed on the boat uh, for about three years, all told. Although it's not, not a straight run of three years. Over over a period of about four years, I sailed about three of them on going, but I kept going back and forth. And uh, anyway, uh, to several other vessels Tabor Boy, Black Pearl, America, <clears throat> Regina Maris. Uh, so anyway, uh, I started a painting from this photograph so which I had blown up not in color but just a basic black and white to work from uh, and underneath that paint underneath this photograph is a painting uh, which to this point that I've started without the benefit of the tissue overlay. I probably should have done that first, but um, uh, I hadn't really started using that method when I started this painting. Um, however, I'm not happy with The perspective and the attitude of my vessel as it's painted, uh, how it stands up to the photograph. So I've taken the size of the photograph that I'm painting in, that I'm working in, it's basically the size of the canvas that's underneath it. I take a tracing paper or a thin this is a little heavier than I normally use. This is what I ordered, but it came. This is a little heavier, so which means it's just. I mean, it's it's fine. It's just a little harder to see through. Sometimes while you're drawing, you might have to sort of pick it up and hold. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. That's right here. Oh yeah. Okay. Now I see it. Okay. Deck house type thing. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, but what it does do is gives me the right attitude for the vessel to sit in my painting in the water.
and the perspective <clears throat> be correct and to be for me to be happy so <clears throat> what I've done again the painting is blocked in underneath it and I've changed it some this is she carried a big club footed stasel early on when she was first launched because they made a movie about her sail to glory and uh, so when she was first launched she was very much like she was in 1851 uh, <clears throat> when she won the America's hence the America's Cup <laughs> this is the vessel that was responsible for the world famous America's Cup, the original one. This is a replica that was built by the Schaefer Brewing Company uh, <clears throat> for the Schaefer Brewing Company by Gowdy and Stevens Shipyard in, in uh, East Booth Bay, Harbor, Maine, which is where I worked for um, a few years. <clears throat> anyway, uh, and I also sailed on this vessel uh, again as a, you know, over a few years span, kept going back and forth. Uh, so what I'm doing now, again, at the late stage of the game, uh, I've taken my tissue overlay over the the blow up and then I can put it I'll actually I'm not happy with my stern uh, I'm not happy this is now basically just roughly blocked in it's you know it's just roughed in just getting the shades and the tones and the, um, in place uh, but how about it's bothering me? Uh, so, I, I got close. I'm close, but it's not quite right. Uh, so, what I'm doing is I'll take this now, this tissue overlay, which gives me the basic outline, the, the attitude, the perspective, the shapes, the angles, the right heel etc um, and I will check the painting against it when I lay this over my painting and um, and if I had started this way uh, what I would typically would do is uh, take some carbon paper underneath, lay it on the canvas, and then I would draw my, basically go over my drawing again with the pencil and transcribe it onto the canvas. <clears throat> and that's uh, the benefit of a tissue overlay. Um, And uh, I started using it, I don't know, over a year ago, maybe a little more. Um, I'll tell how long this painting's been sitting there. I started it a while ago. Uh, I changed the, I gave it a jib and sh put a stasel on it the way it was when I sailed on the vessel. Uh, and again, I'm just not happy with the way my boat's sitting quite yet in the water. Uh, and since I'm painting from a photograph, you know. It's, uh, well, essentially, it's a good way to check your work. Um. 
and you can also start that way with just your white canvas and you know you can draw it all in make your tissue overlay then you can put the carbon paper which I get by the roll uh, <clears throat> and if I have to make a lot of adjustments I'll go through that process you know if I have to put the carbon paper in there between my tissue overlay and the painting to get it right then I'll do that and then that'll leave the outlines in the correct place where things should be and I can adjust my painting accordingly okay so that's the that's how a tissue overlay is used and, and, and that's why I use it um, you know I'm not a lifelong illustrator or a trained artist or a trained painter or a trained anything else Oh, I was a trained ship captain. <laughs> That's just, okay. Which is why I can do this now, I guess. I had to spend a few years out there, you know, to be able to put on canvas what I want to put on it. Uh, anyway, um... Uh, so that's uh, the first part of a uh, tissue overlay. Blow your, you know, let's blow your photo up, size you're working in. Tissue over, make your sketch. Doesn't have to be a real finely detailed sketch, you know, you know, you know what you want to do because you've got the photo anyway, you're working from. Um, I'm not trying to make my painting look like a photo. I'm trying to make the photo look like a painting. But I want my painting to be correct. And I'm, this is where my trouble is. <clears throat> my painting is right back in here. It's, my, it's not quite right. My, my transom is too much heel. And, um, and it's not quite right yet. <clears throat> but this will help so and then when I do that part we'll review that part cheers Captain Pete from the studio